Welcome back to the video tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw sunbird from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. So I'm gonna start with drawing the center of her headpiece with a line across right there. And from the side, I'm gonna make a turn downwards. diagonal line right there at the sides and downwards and a line across at that point a line downwards at this middle point from the top all the way to the bottom and a line across at this point slightly above the middle level at the side of that center piece I'm gonna draw a line out at this corner on the left semi circle turn downwards at the side and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side as well and on top of that I'm gonna draw a line up at this corner turn it sideways to the middle and inside of that I'm gonna draw a line across downwards on the left side right there and across I'm gonna mirror that whole thing on the right side here as well and for the piece at the side I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at the center point right there and at the side I'm gonna make a similar rectangular shape diagonally right there and the one at the outer corner will be even more slanted as you go to the side I'm gonna copy the whole thing on the left side here as well. Now from the side of the mask right there, I'm gonna draw a curve line across. Turn it upwards, semi circle turn diagonal to the middle point in between the eye and across a curve line at the center point I'm gonna do the same diagonal curve line to the outer point on the right side as well turn it downwards and curve line to the right for the lower part of the eye I'm gonna draw across a curve line right there turn it upwards in the middle point and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side here as well. For the lower half of the mask, I'm gonna take this point on the left side and draw a curve line downwards. Turn it inwards to the right, slightly upwards. And at the side of the nose, I'm gonna make a semi circle turn back down to the center, sharp turn back up, and I'm gonna mirror the whole shape on the right side right there and at the tip of the nose I'm gonna draw another similar curve line to the middle point and the same line on the right side as well at the side of that I'm gonna draw a curve line right there and on the right side as well below that at the side I'm gonna draw her face shape right here to the chin with a diagonal curve line semi circle turn across the chin and mirror the same face shape on the right side a curve line across for her mouth right there 
from the corner of the mouth a curved line diagonally to the middle point slightly up and back down in the middle and mirror that shape on the right side for the lower lips I'm gonna take the same point from the corner of the mouth and draw a curved line across turn it downwards at the middle point and back up at the other side and for her eye I'm gonna draw a curved line from this outer corner at the side across with a curved line and I'm gonna mirror the whole curved line across at this lower point as well and for the eye inside I'm gonna take this point and draw another curved line across turn it down at the inner corner and we're gonna mirror that same shape again for the lower part of the eye inside of that shape I'm gonna draw a circular shape a small circle at the left corner and a black dot in the middle at the outer corner of the eye I'm gonna curl the line upwards right there and we're gonna copy the whole eye shape on the right side right there and below the head I'm gonna draw a curved line from the side downwards for her neck on the left and the right turn it outwards at the bottom point all the way to her shoulder with a curved line and a semicircle turn at the shoulder downwards diagonally I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side as well now for her hair I'm gonna take this point at the side of her mask and draw a curved line downwards and I'm gonna flare it out at the bottom point and semicircle turn downwards we're gonna do the same thing on the right side here as well now for the color of her shirt I'm gonna draw across a curved line at the base of her neck right there and another similar line at this lower point now from the side of her outfit right here I'm gonna draw a curved line down slightly outwards turn it back in at this lower point and a curved line downwards a curved line across at this level and upwards on the left side of the outfit below that at the side I'm gonna draw a curved line downwards for the waist and inwards and back out below the waistline I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side here as well and a curve line at that point across the curve line downwards on both sides flare it out and back downwards and on the right side curve line downwards flare it out slightly at that point all the way to the knee and back slightly in and in the middle of the legs I'm gonna draw across the curve line right there and I'm gonna draw another curve line for the inner line of the legs slightly in towards the knee and flare it back slightly out below the knee and back in at the ankle point I'm gonna extend this outer line of the legs on the left similar to the inner line and flare it out below the knee point and back in towards the ankle for the shoe I'm gonna draw across a curve line at that point turn it downwards on both sides and another curve line across at this point below that a line down on both sides and I'm gonna draw the straps with curve line across 
line down on both sides and another curved line at the lower point I'm gonna copy the same shape again at this point and one more thinner one at the lowest point right here on the side I'm gonna draw a oval shape right there for each of the straps and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side as well below that I'm gonna continue the line of the shoe downwards with a curve line curve line across from the left to the right turn it slightly up at the side right there across back down and to the right at the side below that I'm gonna draw a line down curve line across at the base and another curve line across slightly above that for the right leg I'm gonna extend this line downwards and for the inner line of the legs a curve line down towards the knee flare it out below the knee and back in towards the ankle point for this shoe I'm gonna draw a curve line across turn it down on both sides another curve line across below that I'm gonna draw a strap with a similar shape another one below that and another one right there from the front point I'm gonna draw a curve line same as a good turn at the front tip of the shoe downwards and at the side of the shoe on the left here I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and below that a curve line at the back all the way to the heels and I'm gonna draw a line across from the back to the front tip of the shoes for the base of the shoe I'm gonna draw a diagonal line right there turn it back up and turn it back to the front turn it back up curve line across and a line to the front of the shoe I'm gonna trace the same line from the back to the front point of the shoe at this upper point right here and at the side of the strap I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there and another one at this corner for the patterns on her pants I'm gonna draw a diagonal line below the knee on the left side here turn it downwards diagonal turn back out I'm gonna trace the same exact set of line at this inner point right here and below that I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across another one below that and another one from this point and at this left corner I'm gonna turn it downwards and I'm gonna trace the same line again on the right side right here now going back up I'm gonna draw her arms with a curve line down from this point diagonally out semi circle turn inwards and a circular shape at this corner a curve line across at the sleeve and a line down on both sides I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the sleeve on this inner corner right there and a curve line diagonally up towards the side of her outfit for her glove I'm gonna draw across a curve line at this point and a diagonal line down on both sides right there and line across at the bottom point and downwards at that corner for the patterns on her glove I'm gonna draw a line from the side of the hand diagonal line downwards across diagonal line upwards and across and I'm gonna copy the same shape again at this lower point right here turn it down at the side and sideways to the center copy the same shape again on the left side right there for the patterns on her sleeve here I'm gonna draw a semicircle line 
turn it sideways diagonally to that point and I'm gonna trace the same line across at this corner and another one right there and another one from the elbow a diagonal line right there turn it upwards curve line across and curve line diagonally up line outwards curl it up at that corner sharp turn back out and sideways semi could turn at that corner and out towards I'm gonna trace this outline at this corner right here turn it up towards the collar and diagonal turn to that point at this corner I'm gonna draw a line right there sideways curl it up at that corner sharp turn back out and up line across curve line downwards diagonal line right there and across back to the point right there and below that I'm gonna trace this line across a line sideways back to the left and upwards and I'm gonna trace this line across right here all the way back to this point and above that, I'm gonna trace this curved line across as well and turn it upwards. For the right arms, I'm gonna extend this line downwards. Flare it out at the sleeve. Curve line across at that point and downwards on both sides. And I'm gonna mirror the same shape for the inner line right here. And for the glove, turn it down at this outer corner, sideways in, rectangular shape at the below the knuckles, and align down at the corner. And for the patterns on the glove, I'm gonna copy the same pattern on the other side. And for the patterns on her sleeve we're gonna copy the same shape as well And from this point, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across, another one below that, and a few more similar lines across right there. A line across at the top of the pants right here, and another line at this corner. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.